today on the Health Informer, Vitamin B12 Deficiency and Anemia. Vitamin B12 is required for proper red blood cell formation, neurological function, and DNA synthesis. What is B12 deficiency? Vitamin B12 deficiency occurs when there are inadequate levels of vitamin B12 in the body. For most people, a balanced diet provides all the vitamin B12 they need. Good sources of vitamin B12 include meat, fish, eggs, and dairy products. Despite the availability of vitamin B12 in a balanced diet, deficiency is not all that uncommon, particularly among people over 50 years of age, premenopausal women, and people who follow strict vegan diets. Causes of B12 Deficiency Low levels of vitamin B12 may be the result of a number of different factors and conditions. One of the most common causes of B12 deficiency is pernicious anemia. This is a condition where a person's immune system mistakenly reduces their ability to absorb the vitamin. Less common causes of deficiency include conditions affecting the stomach or intestines that interfere with absorption of vitamin B12, inadequate dietary intake, or certain medications. If left untreated, B12 deficiency tends to worsen and irreversible problems involving the nerves and brain may develop over time. The risk of experiencing a number of serious complications, including heart failure, may also increase. For this reason, it is important to seek medical advice without delay. What are symptoms of B12 deficiency? A person with vitamin B12 deficiency may notice general symptoms of anemia, as well as symptoms that are more specific to the condition. Symptoms more specific to B12 deficiency include pale yellow skin, red tongue, mouth ulcers and canker sores, constipation, pins, needles, numbness or other strange sensations in the hands, legs, or feet. Additional symptoms of B12 deficiency include vision disturbances, difficulty walking and balance issues, perceptible differences in mood, thoughts, and behavior, confusion and difficulty thinking, in severe cases, signs of dementia, memory loss, irritability, depression, and psychosis. What causes B12 deficiency? Pernicious anemia is a common cause of vitamin B12 deficiency. There are several other possible causes of the deficiency, but they tend to be less common. What is pernicious anemia? In order for B12 to be absorbed by the body, it needs to be combined with a protein called intrinsic factor in the stomach. This protein is produced by cells in the stomach lining. In people with pernicious anemia, the body's immune system mistakenly attacks these cells, preventing intrinsic factor from combining with vitamin B12 and hampering its absorption. Pernicious anemia is an autoimmune condition that most commonly affects people over 50 years old and women appear more likely to develop it. Pernicious anemia is thought to run in families and seems to affect people who have had other autoimmune conditions such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Addison's disease. Your healthcare practitioner can order a blood test to check for pernicious anemia. B12 deficiency can also be caused by conditions affecting the stomach and intestines. People who have atropic gastritis, helicobacter pylori, or a genetic condition that causes a lack of intrinsic factor can all cause B12 deficiency. Another cause can be people who have had Crohn's disease, celiac disease, or who have had surgery to remove part or all of the stomach or the end of the small intestine. Though fairly uncommon, some people may develop vitamin B12 deficiency as a result of low level in their diet. A balanced diet typically provides sufficient vitamin B12. However, strict vegans and people with a poor diet are at high risk of developing a deficiency. Good sources of vitamin B12 include meat, fish, eggs, and dairy products. How is B12 deficiency diagnosed? If B12 deficiency is suspected, your doctor will usually request a blood test. These tests measure levels of serum B12 and folic acid, as well as the size and concentration of hemoglobin within the red blood cells. However, this type of testing is not always accurate, as some people experience symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency despite their blood tests indicating normal levels. The reason for this 
is that the test measures the total amount of the vitamin in the blood, but not all of it can necessarily be used by the body, and therefore there may be higher amounts of B12 in the blood that the body is not able to use. This is also known as functional deficiency. For this reason, your doctor may also test for folate deficiency. Treatment of B12 deficiency. Treatment will depend on the reason for the vitamin B12 deficiency. In most cases, having B12 injections or taking a prescribed oral supplement will be sufficient to treat the condition. Your doctor may recommend having high-dose injections of vitamin B12, usually in the form called hydroxycholobalamin, every second day for two weeks or until the symptoms have cleared. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.